What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Hey, man. If anybody asks you where Flo Rider is at, you tell him he been getting to the money, okay? Now, we know he been performing. He been doing all them spring breaks and all that type of stuff for years on years on years. I ain't even talking about that New Year's Eve type stuff. He just got a big bag today. We're going to talk about it right now. Let's get into the story, man. Flo Rida was just awarded $82 million. I repeat, $82 million in damages from energy drink maker Celsius in a lawsuit that claimed the company violated an endorsement deal with Flo. And the Broward County judge awarded him that sum after finding that Celsius breached two contracts they had struck with the rapper in the mid 2010. So this is an agreement that they had going way back. Flo Rida's lawsuit, which was filed in 2021, claimed he was owed millions in additional stock and ongoing royalties under the terms of the deal. His attorney says it was a matter of respect. He was due these shares, he worked for them, and he wasn't going to just let it go. During this five-day trial, attorneys for Flo Rida argued that Celsius had met key sales thresholds that entitled Flo to additional stock amounting to a 1% stake in the business, which means that he now has ownership or was supposed to have ownership based on him hitting those benchmarks that they set in that contract. So whoever represented him when he signed that deal, they knew what they was doing. They bet on the company, basically. And that 1% cut his lawyers were claiming was worth at least 75 million big ones. And they said that his initial promotion back in those early days helped boost a tiny local company that was about to go out of business. So they was really on the edge of not being no more. They linked up with Flo Rida. He helped get it off the ground. And now Celsius has gone on to do so much more. They in every store. Now the lawyers for Celsius were arguing that the company had broken no promises. They said that the sales threshold hadn't been triggered and that the rapper had already been paid far in excess of what he was owed. They told the jury that Flo was simply chasing a cash payment, which he wasn't entitled to saying a business deal is a business deal. You don't get to overdo it just because you're unhappy with the results. So they tried to play him and little bro him out and they found out what it really was in the end. Now, just to boot, man, I got to show y'all this quick video of him uh, after this verdict was reached and after he reached his settlement. He did, he went on the podium, had a nice little sip of some Celsius and said, God is great. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and play it for y'all real quick, man. It's funny. I just want to say God is good in Jesus' name. Mm. I want to thank the jury, Judge Haynes, my attorneys, Kelly Ustall, Yes, sir. And although I'm laughing, this is a very serious matter. I mean, clearly it has to be. It is $82 million on the line, which have just been awarded to this artist that we haven't seen with big hits in quite a long time, man. He is a very financially sound artist. He's been taking great care of himself so much so that remember he signed Black first back in the days. Black never seen no money, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? So Flo Rida is definitely a very shrewd businessman, if I must say so myself. So it ain't like he was hurting for money and needed to go to Celsius to try to get some bread. He just knew what he was entitled to because he studied that paperwork and was like, heck nah, we finna go cash in because we see what the valuation of the company is. We see them sales benchmarks. We been hit that. It's time to get it rocking. Can't be mad at him on that one, man. And that just goes to show you how these big companies really be trying to play the creators, man. They come to you. They smile in your face. They tell you, oh, we family. Welcome to the family, blah, blah, blah. You know, when you sign in that paperwork, they smiling with their little devilish grins and knowing what they going to do or at least having an idea of what they going to do. And in the back of their mind, they know that they're not going to try to honor none of their commitments. They want you to uphold yours. If you fall short on any level, they always going to come back and seek retribution or find a way not to pay you and say, hey, a business deal is a business deal. They don't like it when the shoe gets turned on the other foot. When the rabbit got the gun, it ain't no fun. And we've been seeing a slew of different companies going out this same way. Triller been doing that for a while. Not to mention some of these royalty companies been holding on to people money in the industry. I just told y'all about how YouTube is trying to hold on to people money. These corporations are slick, man. And that slick talk you right into the door. Then they're going to slick you right out as soon as you start really asking some questions, trying to see what's really going on 
They don't want you to be a part of that conversation. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments, man. This is breaking news. This was just announced. Everything just happened. All you ladies out there, go ahead and put your apple bottom jeans and your boots with the fur on in celebration, man. See if you can catch Flo Rida on the way out, man. I'm going to sign out. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like and share this video, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Much love and respect, y'all. Peace. Got my legal hustle. Welcome to the trap. I could blow a stack, but I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the bat. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, but I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the bat.